Good afternoon, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. Y'all come on in my studio and let's do some creating together and have some fun. Get everything going down here. Um, if you're Good watching on replay, say hi to me or comment hashtag replay and um, let me know you were here so I can, so I'll know because I'll read all the comments. Hey Lisa, you got here fast. Let me pin that, if it'll let me catch it. I can never catch it fast enough. Okay, do that. Yes, okay, good deal. Um, okay, hey Leanne, hey Cindy, thank you so much. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Patty, and thank you. Hey, Linda, got a crazy post to art journal. Oh, that's good. I need to go find the rest of them. I saw a couple of them, Leanne. Hey, Jody and Rose and Michelle. Deb, y'all getting here fast. Thank you, Penny. Hey, Betty. Oh, that's what I've got. Oh, I gotta go get that mug. Thank you, Regina. Y'all are so sweet. I've I've been reading all of your sweet, sweet comments on my anniversary post. And um, we just are so appreciative of all your kind words. And it's so fun to read them all. Facebook will get me if I go hit and love or comment on every one of them. But hey, Cecile and Jermaine and Denise. But we appreciate them all and we're reading them all. Hi, Tina. Hey, Betty. Hey, Jerry. Thank you for tossing the taters. Hi, Tammy and Lynn and Patricia. I'm so happy y'all are here. Hi, Angie. Thank y'all for understanding, too, why I had to take... I, I haven't hung it in it. Swear am I in this way? <laughs> My project from Sunday that I love so much and can only now be seen on YouTube. So far, YouTube doesn't have a problem with it, but I might have gotten in big trouble with Facebook. I was That was just such a stupid thing on my part to do. Thank y'all for the anniversary wishes. Thanks, Debbie. Oh, thank you, Regina. Thank you, Carol. Hi, Ruth. Oh, I just wanted to share some, some of the wedding pictures with y'all. I'm glad y'all liked them. Hi, Patricia and Myrtle. So, y'all saw the, um, I had shown it to you Sunday, but I, I posted the picture of the before because I wanted to do some prep work on it. Uh, hey, Judy. Um, it was, it still had the backing on it. Kirkland's home. It was dark, kind of, I want to say 90s, early 2000s. Um, they're showing up in yard sales and in thrift stores now. I guess everybody's switching over to the lighter colors. It was, Cindy, I don't know, and it meant so much to me, and it was so heartfelt, but y'all have been so sweet to go over to YouTube to watch it. I appreciate that so much. Hi, Lola. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I hope it'll, I hope y'all will enjoy it. Oh, Vicki, you're so sweet. That's sweet. Hey, Elizabeth. I just hung up the phone talking with Elizabeth. Thank you, Kathy. So, this is what I, and I'm so glad I did some prep work because this thing was not easy to take apart. Let me hold it up the way it was. You know, it was in, it was like this, which... I mean, I, I liked this kind of thing for like a, a bathroom back in the day, but it's not my style now and it's dark. Thank you, Sandy, you're so sweet. Uh, oh, Barb, I know, I, nobody complained. It was just a preemptive <laughs> strike on my part because I should not have used that word, especially in light of what happened last weekend in the news, I just, that was, I felt insensitive. Thank you, Christine. Hey, Sarah and Judy. Uh, oh, I do not either. Y'all are, y'all are too sweet to say I look like that. Y'all, I weighed 108 pounds on the day I got married. I'll never see that again. <laughs> y'all are very sweet. But I didn't want to put you through watching me chalk paint a frame three times and drying it in between. This is three coats on that dark frame of my white chalk paint that Sweet Gail Chandler 
who was at my wedding, by the way. Her daughter was actually in my wedding. But she made me this chalk paint that I've been using and using and using. So we've got this prepped. Y'all know how to do this part. You didn't have to watch me do that part. Well, we, this has a mat on it. I'm, I think I'm going to use the mat too. Hey, Robin from Michigan. Oh, wait, I've got to, oh, i got to show y'all. When Mr. Taterbug can get home, I'm going to get him to bring the other one in here. But it was like Christmas yesterday. I got two new mugs from Sweet Taterbugs. Um, Jody, she was kind enough to post it in the uh, Taterbug and Sweet Taterbugs group. So you'll see that. I think Cindy pinned it to the top or it made it a featured uh, post. So she shared with us um, how, how she did it. Regina, did you really? Oh my goodness. It's, yep, I, I mean, I was 21, come on. So our sweet, I wanna get the names right. I wrote them down, I knew I had it right. Sweet Becky Peels, knew I loved bluebirds. So she got me this big travel mug. It has a top to it, you know, so you can take it Oh, I love this so much. And I turned it around. It's got so many things I love. It's got the uh, typography, the lettering that I love. It's got a postmark on it. Anyway, I just think it's absolutely beautiful with all those bluebirds. So I had my afternoon coffee in this and then switched to water afterwards. Isn't it so pretty? Um, oh, Christine, you're so sweet. Thank you. So I'm enjoying this, Becky. Thank you so much. And Betty Rand sent me a Maine mug and I had my morning coffee out of that this morning. It's so pretty. And I thought about it just a little bit ago. I thought, well, I had, you know, like I said, I had my coffee in it, but I was gonna go wash it out and show it to y'all. But when Mr. Taterbuggin is at the dentist and I swear they've, he's, it's been hours and I don't know what they're doing to him. So, um, if he gets home, I'm going to get him to bring that to me from the kitchen so I don't have to get up and y'all have to watch the uh, airspace. Thank you, Daniela. You're so sweet. Oh, you caught me live, Karen, from South Dakota. I appreciate it. That reminds me. So here's, look, I have 41 mugs from Canada and all of these states that are colored in. Very few left and one of them i think it's so funny one of them is tennessee where i live like you know i have a memphis one that i bought myself but i haven't gotten a tennessee one yet so thank y'all very much for adding to my collection that i treasure so much hey rachel from iowa oh i forgot to tell y'all this is my this is another bell lily shirt way comfortable um I, I, it's so comfortable. I love it. So I put the link in there for you. You were going to look for Maine. Oh, really, Lori? Well, I got one and it is so pretty and I enjoyed my morning coffee out of it. Very so much. Okay. I got out my old um, music, vintage music that I've had. I got it at a thrift store, I think in Tupelo, Mississippi years ago. And I love the colors of this um, paper. So we're just going to, and it, it was long enough. I couldn't use like a hymnal page because it wouldn't have been big enough. But this, this works. And we're gonna cover this with, oops, cover this with music and just build it up from there. And uh, I've got a couple of options for y'all. You know, I like to have options to see what y'all think about it. You played out of a book like that. Becky's here, Becky. Thank you so much. I love it. Like I said, it was just like Christmas. And um, Barb, you're so sweet. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Don't make me cry now. You know, I do that sometimes. <laughs> but, um, be Betty Rand had messaged me and she said, have you gotten a mug from me? And I said, no, ma'am, I haven't, but I'll be on the lookout and I'll let you know as soon as I do. Probably should have uh, taken it out of the middle of the page. What do y'all think? 
it's going to have this covered up anyway. That's not going to matter. Look at there. It's not going to matter. Um, so, uh, you know, I feel, always feel bad when they, when y'all go out of your way to get me a gift like that and it gets lost or something. Hey, Melissa. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, so, it arrived yesterday. And our sweet mailman, y'all know we love our mailman. He's so good. Uh, he felt so bad about the condition of the box. One whole end. Hey, B. Thank you. Hey, Bertha and Carol. Y'all are coming on in. One whole end of the box had a hole in it. It was smashed. And Gerald took it and he kind of shook it like this, thinking, opened it up for me. And the opposite end of the box was where the mug was, and it was untouched. I was so thankful. Because if it had been on that end of the box, it would have been toast. And, oh, I didn't want to have to tell her that. So I was glad to tell her it had been through the ringer, but uh, it made it in one piece. The box did not. I love a V-neck, too, Jody. It just... Um, it's more comfortable to me. You didn't get your note. Who got? Did y'all get notifications? Oh, Mo, you're from Northern Ireland. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, Barb, y'all make my day. Y'all always make my day. You say the sweetest things, and you're so kind to me, and. Forgiving when I'm doing something not so fun or kind of boring. <laughs> but I, I appreciate y'all and, and the sweet gifts you send me. And um, doing that, you know, taking the time to send me a mug from where you live or just because you know I love them. And, you know, y'all are just sweet. Y'all are just sweet. You got both Telegram and Facebook. Okay, good. I don't know why. I had another person telling me that they did not get their Telegram. They were getting them at first. But I have so many of you saying that you did get the notification from Telegram. I don't know what's going on. Is it hot and muggy in Kansas, Sherry? Uh, you did get notified, Carol. Good. Hi, Gail. Thank you. Um, but the, my channel on Telegram, if you want a Telegram notification, is Taterbug and Lindy. I'll have to, I think we've got it, well, the link is in my link tree pinned to the top of our Taterbuggin page. Okay, that's just Mod Podge down. Do you hear Sarge? He makes these noises when he lays down. Mm. I just want to trim that right there so it'll fit in the frame. So I could leave it just like this, but I want to put the mat back on it, I think. I think that's pretty. Hey, Wendy, I am good. How are you doing? So what I think I want to do is grab another sheet. Like this. And put this right down on it. Well, that's not going to work. Okay, let me just do it this way. These are some things I probably could have prepped ahead of time, but I didn't want to do the whole thing ahead of time. Telegram is a service. Um, it'll If you download the free app, it's free. And it'll come through if you make sure you have your note. This is where I went wrong in the beginning. You have to have your notification sounds turned on. And it'll come through your phone just like a text uh, through the Telegram service. And it will, I send y'all a little message letting you know when I'll be live. Usually give you about 15, um, 15 30 minutes so you know. And you can set a little alarm if you want to, or just remember that I'm about to go live. Mm. 
You're kind of working, Lynn. Thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. Hi, Ann. I have never covered a mat, so this could be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Thank you, Marie. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I picked our wedding date for the 17th. It was, of course, a Friday. No, it was a Saturday. What am I talking about? It was a Saturday. And because a year before that, on May 16th, my daddy died. And I knew every year that would be a tough day for me. Um, so I purposely made our anniversary the day after. So even if I felt sad on the 16th, <laughs> I had the 17th to look forward to, and it has worked beautifully. Hey, Lindy from Australia. I am so happy you're here. You've got to download the app. Yes. Download the Telegram app. It is free. I haven't had any complaints about it. I know there are several crafters who are using the Telegram app now. Uh, the, the texting app, it's rather... Costly, kind of expensive. Okay. See, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. I will save these pieces because I save everything and I don't want to be wasteful. So how is everybody doing today? Hey, Francis, how are you feeling? I saw you were under the weather. Dolly Smith, thank you so much for those stars. I was wondering if you were going to be here. I prepped. I hear Dolly in my head ahead of time because I know she would not have wanted to sit and watch me paint three coats of paint on this. Am I right, Dolly? Was I right? Hey, Wendy. Hey, Carmella, how are you doing? How are things going? I can barely see where I put <laughs> where are my pencil marks here. That's them, okay. Started throwing birthday parties for yourself. Hey, Lori. Give me passing it on, passing it on. Oh, yeah, oh, see? Absolutely. Kind of got a, it's kind of a trick of the, you know, tricking your brain a little bit. Um, not that you ever forget it, but it gives you something happy around that time, which is a good thing. And yesterday was our sweet Cindy Kane's anniversary. I only wish the, the love of her life were still here with her. Hmm. Okay, let's just go on and put this on here. <laughs> Dolly, I know you do. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. And we're going to see how this looks. I may or may not use it. We don't know. Maybe so, maybe not. Oh, Lori, that's the most thoughtful thing to send your mother flowers on your birthday to, to, to thank her. Oh, that's very sweet. Very thoughty. Mom's birthday is the 14th and mine is the... See, that's going to be a problem for me too, Sue, because mine is the 2nd of November and my mother's is the 8th, and we always celebrate our birthdays together. Ever since we've been, we've been adults, ever since I've been an adult, 
um, that's what we do. And uh, so that, that's going to be a problem for me, I know, already. Oh, death's right there at your birthday. Oh, Wendy, how did you do that? Oh. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> this, this part I may leave out, y'all. I sure did. No, it didn't, because I didn't put it on straight far enough down. Sorry. Y'all, if, if anybody's new, welcome. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I usually do a little better than this. <laughs> uh, hey, Michelle. Hey, Jill. Hey, Teresa, I'm glad you're here. Hadn't missed a whole lot. Just me putting this down the wrong way. But it shouldn't take too much, too long after, after this part, I hope. I just want to cover up that black mat. And again, it wouldn't be totally necessary to to use this mat but i thought it might be pretty with the same paper on it and give it a little fun dimension and i'll hold it up and see what y'all say about it so it'll be like this i like that dimension Yeah, this is real life crafting, isn't it? Anniversary stars, Dolly, you're so sweet. Uh, okay, that's the Mod Podge portion. So let's see, we've got... There we go. So I'm going to let those dry and I want to wax this chalk paint on this frame. Let's put some wax on it, number one, to seal it, number two, to make it look old, and then we're gonna start adding to. So I, this is a, a Ellie's Attic um, technique that she taught us. I like the 3D look too. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Vicki. You like it, Pam? Good. I got this Sue at a yard sale recently. It, um, I posted the before picture this morning or this afternoon when I was showing you everything we're going to use today. Um, it was $2 at a yard sale, and I just knew I loved the shape of this frame. I didn't know if I would do it this way or this way, but I'm keeping it up and down for what I'm going to do. That must be... Mr. Tater Buggin home from the dentist. So I dip into the bare dark wax. And then this is what Ellie Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic showed us. And then you kind of dip into the white. And I want to get my palette here so I can just tap off the excess. I don't want to go go all in on it with a bunch of wax. And we're just gonna because I love these details on the frame. That's why I got this frame. I love these, these details and I can just imagine some rubbing buff, some wax, making it look pretty. We'll see with that old sheet music in it. Did y'all see, um, see her do her uh, fairy house last night. She got that piece. It looked totally different. She got that piece at the church rummage sale that me and her and Tanya, 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 Tanya went to recently. And, uh, oh, it's so cool. I love it. Dip some more. 
I know. As long as it's taken, he may. Oh, Regina, thank you for saying that. Uh, there, are, there are some that I think, hey, what was I thinking? But uh, I have fun with y'all. No matter what I'm making, that's a guarantee. I have fun hanging out with y'all, so that's all that matters. I'm liking the way this is looking. And Bo's chewing his bone for y'all. Yeah, I hear whistling. He's home. He can still whistle, so maybe he's okay. Hope he'll come say hey to y'all. He's gonna wave at me. He's gotta play with his dog before he comes and says hey to me. What? Okay, now I want to grab a paper towel. I love Bo. I promise you he would love every single one of y'all too. He is about the sweetest thing. <gasps> oh, this is so pretty. I'm going to squeal. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even envision it looking like this. Y'all, what? <gasps> this is better than I could have ever expected. Oh, I love it. Look how gorgeous this frame looks now. <gasps> want to do all the frames. I want to do all of them. Yes, yeah, Sarge will get jealous. He's like, thank you, Sherry. Hello, thank you. I didn't think they were ever going to let you come home. What was the deal? Okay, you all right? Yeah. They said you were going to come home toothless at this rate. There he is, y'all. Wish up. So. There's my sweet anniversary, honey. I have a favor to ask of you. What's going on? I forgot to bring my brand new main mug from the kitchen uh -huh. to show them because I had my coffee in it this morning. What did, what happened there? What happened there? I don't know. What you? I didn't do you, that. You go home now. I go get it for you. Thank you, and come back and they'll all say happy anniversary to you. Oh my word! Look at that. Oh, I love it. Do y'all? <laughs> Let's see what it looks like with this in it. Gotta get the hangers on this end. Let's do this. Do this. Look how pretty. <gasps> I love it. I'm leaving it just like this until we put the other stuff in it to see what, how we want to finish it out. But, oh my goodness, that just looks amazing with that sheet music. Okay, here's my beautiful new main mug from Betty Rand. Betty, I think you're on here. I hope you're still with me. I love it. Look at that awesome handle. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the cool stuff from Maine. So fun. Okay, now. Now, y'all commence to telling him happy anniversary and for putting up with me for 36 whole years. 37. Oh, you it's been so hard. It's been so hard. Bless a, <laughs> bless a man's heart. <laughs> yeah, it's been so hard. Hey. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. I didn't think about that, Tony. I've got ideas, though. How can how can we attach this back in right now? So should I just hot glue it? I'll, mm. You can just put some, just put a little on each corner, just to where it'll stay. Okay, let me do that. I've got my glue gun going. But do I want to put the glass back in? Probably. Just. He's so afraid I'm gonna cut myself. I'm, 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 I'm trying so to be. Afraid you are. I know. I, I cleaned it myself though. I didn't cut myself. I've been known to do it. I thought so at first, but it's not. Let me wait. Let me do. It goes like this. Let me make sure before I. 
Okay, so the, the, the page number's at the top. So there, there we have it. Do I want the glass in it or not? Mm. Let me look at it without the reflection. I'm gonna change that. Decisions. Oh, do you be? Oh, thank you, Dee. Oh, uh, Barb, what? what are you talking about? Stop it. Stop it. Goes that way. Okay, I know I want this on here, so let me just go on and um, put my little mat down where it's supposed to go. <gasps> Y'all, he just, well, the mama and daddy weren't, yeah. He just checked on our babies. Can y'all see the bluebird babies? <laughs> you saw the eggs. We have babies again. Is that only four though? There were five eggs. There's five. There's uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, five. look at those! Look at those little mouths waiting for their worms. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, so here's what we're doing next. This is why I need to decide if I want to put the. I think I do want to protect it with the glass. Do I? No. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, here's what I'm, let me, let me ask you. I want to take this pretty piece of lace that I found at that church rummage sale and it's gonna be, it's gonna be placed right here. I'm just gonna Mod Podge it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna leave the, the glass out. You like the glass? <gasps> Shelly, no, 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 no. So, So I want that dimension still there, and I want it to lap over, <coughs> excuse me, and then we're going to put something on top of the lace. I don't know what for sure yet. That's going to kind of be up to y'all, but I was thinking I might want that lace to overlap the frame, although I could just do it where it just fits in. Something about putting the glass on top of it really throws me off. So I'm going to stick to doing it here. And I'm not going to overlap the frame, but I am going to overlap this um, what a, mat. Yeah, like this. But I just thought this piece of lace fit this frame so well um, that it would just be fun in here over this sheet music. We're not, Terry. Um, he had the dentist appointment today, and I was going to do my live. And we, y'all, we're, you know how we are. Every day's our anniversary. We're living our happy dream that he's, he got to retire. Thanks to y'all. Um, this business is our sole livelihood. Um, and so it's what puts food on the table. It's, you know, 
it's everything for us. And so we, we treat it as such. And, um, so we, we get, just because we're getting to, uh, work together finally after all the years of him having to work 12 hour days. So we may, you know, we were, we were talking about it yesterday. I was telling mom, he said, do you want to, do you want to go out and celebrate? And I said, well, you know, you've got that appointment and uh, I'm going to work. And he said, what about Wednesday? I said, well, I have a doctor's appointment Wednesday. And we went through all the days and we were just like, you know what, we'll figure it out. I, that's why I'm doing it this way, Patricia, because this way, if, it, if I don't drape it over the frame and we decide we want that glass in there, we can put that glass in there. I just want it to look very vintagey and classy. And you know, like special, I guess. Um, I was about. To, oh, we are working on the auction already, y'all. So we would like to do it this coming Sunday. What do y'all think about that? I want your opinion while we're live. And so, hey, Labriska, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you for being here. I appreciate that so much. Um, so we're thinking about doing our first auction Sunday, and, um, I wanted to know if y'all want me to do it at our regular time, four o'clock central, or would you rather me do it maybe more like 630? Would more of you be able to attend or what? Judy, since when? Oh my goodness. You, uh, oh, well, you've, you've accrued given us so many stars my goodness you have sent us stars galore okay let's check it i'm liking it y'all i really do thank you mary what did you say wait 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 i want to be like you 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 are one <laughs> Reverse age, <laughs> you're sweet to say that. No. So what do y'all think about, yeah, Labriska, we're going to try it. I don't know. So I've, I'm pulling like 15-ish, 15 to 20-ish pieces. I've got quite a few pulled. This one may end up being one of them if y'all want. So, um, and I will include shipping in the starting bid. Uh so now, decision time. I pulled out a Totally Dazzled. If y'all don't know Totally Dazzled, go to Ellie's Attic and use her link because <laughs> Lori Hamby can talk about it. She just placed a big order. But I've got this cross. Look how pretty that is. And I thought about, let me hold this up. Put in putting this pretty sparkly cross in the middle, which I love. I think it does too. I was hoping it would look elegant. Pearls would look awesome on here. And I thought of that earlier. If I had pearls, crafting pearls, <laughs> yes, I would add pearls to this because that would be very appropriate for this piece. Here's my other idea. So we can do totally dazzled or I'm putting this together. I prepped this so you wouldn't have to watch me cut like I had to do on the mat and all. I'm going to do a butterfly. I got a template of, it was free, five butterflies. This is a little different from the last butterfly I did. Uh, I don't know why I've been such on, in, on such a butterfly kick this season. Um, so I'm going to stack. They're this one's three inches and it goes to two and a half inches, two inches, one and a half inches, and then one inch. So buttons would be pretty like my grandmother's antique buttons. That would be very pretty. So let me put this together 
I've got all my butterflies cut out. I used scrapbook paper from um, that book, Theodosia Square, that we love so much that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I used this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby that looks like a uh, corrugated cardboard. I love that. And we're just gonna stack it up kind of like we did the book page butterfly that we made not too long ago. And then, the, so that's two. Now what I did was one's going up and down and one's going diagonal. And then we're gonna go back to that same piece of scrapbook paper, but a different part of it that on here. I'm just putting a dot of hot glue right in the middle. So this will be three dimensional. Get all my glue strings out of the way. I think that's really pretty and soft and vintage looking handmade lace piece that I've always tried to figure out how to display. Sandra, this would be, yeah, this would be um, perfect for that. Yeah, uh, Francis, I saw you pull yours out the other day and I'm like, yes, I am all about that corrugated cardboard on your mixed media piece. I, did, I was trying to think, I didn't want to just leave it like this. I wanted a body on the front. So I started looking around and I pulled out one of my Dollar Tree skewers that I just have over here that I break pieces off of or I use it for different things. And so I just broke an end of it off and I covered it with my thin jute. That's all I did to make the body. So let me put this down. Oh, thank you, I'm going to fold. I might, Dolly, I'm gonna see. I might fold the wings up just a little bit. So that's why I didn't put any glue on that. But I thought also maybe when I push this body down, it'll kind of just do it itself and it, it kind of did. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Our sweet little butterfly. And I even made it some antennas ahead of time. Antennae, I guess you should say. glue these onto the back. I better get my finger protectors out for this. Got to fix dinner. Okay, Angela, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Do you, Melissa? Good. Stink bug, stink bug, stink bug. Why do they pick on me? Do, do, do the other crafters have this much trouble with stink bugs? Thank you, Cindy. Figured you probably saw him before I did. This would be pretty with a dragonfly on it too. I need to try to make a dragonfly sometime. Dragonflies. I've got my dragonfly necklace and my dragonfly, dragonfly bracelet on too. Um, I recently looked up the symbolism of the dragonfly and it just meant so much to me. Oh goodness. There we go. What do y'all think? So let's, we've got the cross. You saw the totally dazzled cross. Get that cat. <laughs> Stink bugs everywhere, huh? Right. My silly cat will not come in here. When this was a screened porch, he just thought it was the grandest thing. But he... So, we could do the butterfly. But I'm almost, as I look at it, I'm almost thinking I'm going to do this butterfly. Thank you, Susie. Uh, do this butterfly um, on something else because I mean I could save it and do this in an, on another craft and you saw how I did it I'll share the template 
in our Sweet Tater Bugs group. It's a free template for you to download and just um, cut out, and you can make your own butterflies. Yes, the butterfly. Love the cross best. The cross seems to go with it better. Prefer the cross, love the cross. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. And we're gonna save this pretty for another craft. We can all, always use a butterfly whenever we want to. Okay, let's cut the back off. It's a, it's a brooch, so I'm just gonna cut that off. I really do love this cross. And it, it does look good on here. Now look, that's so easy, I don't even, that popped right off. I didn't have to break it or anything. It was easy. Put it right here in the, this um, wider portion of the lace. That's so pretty, I love it. I really do love it. Ooh, Susan, I'll see what that looks like. Let me, let me. Okay, once I get the cross on here and I get this place back in, I'll hold this up on the corner and you can tell me if that's too much or just enough or whatever. So is this something you might want to see in the auction Sunday? I didn't I didn't ever see if y'all said uh, four o'clock or six six thirty. Your headache is gone. Oh yes, sinuses. So uh, daily around here. Isn't that cross pretty? Did I get it on there straight? That's very vintage, very shabby chic. I like that. Elizabeth Bauer, look. Totally dazzled. Auction at four, four, Sunday at four. Okay, that's what it'll be then. Sunday at four, central. Now, I will start making the um, promotions for it so nobody forgets. And uh, we'll keep pulling things to share because it's time to move some inventory out of here. We gotta make room for more. There we go. I really like that. I really do. Okay, so this is all assembled. I think the, I think the butterfly might be too much. Do y'all? <laughs> Patricia, this will be in the auction. Although I really want to keep it. I gotta quit doing that. I already know it fits in the right in between my windows on in, in, back here in my studio because I was gonna do the paintbrush, um, the paintbrush craft with this frame, but changed it the final hour. No butterfly. I think it's too much. I think it takes away from this pretty cross and this will get used but y'all make you some butterflies that's just simple and easy and uh, what I'll do I've just got a little glue in here but we're gonna make sure we seal this in really well and um, is that crooked no I fixed it um, Make sure we seal this in here really well, and I'll cover the back with the brown craft paper so it'll be a finished off piece. So, one, yeah, I already did it. And I, I do like it better without the uh, glass. There won't be any reflection on it. So what do you think? I love it. I love how it turned out. I love the... I, I keep telling Moidle she is missed. She misses y'all too. I even thought at the end I might take some uh, rub and buff and hit these little dots right here, but I don't want, you know, this, I feel like this is one of those less is more situations because I just really love it like this. 
it turned out prettier than I anticipated. I'm so glad y'all like it. Okay, Judy, I will get that posted in our group. And this lace so pretty and I haven't I've used it in did I use it in another craft too? I can't remember, but I have more of it. I just keep cutting. It was already cut on when I got it. Um, Moidle's just working like crazy Jody. She she has a very high stress 24-7 job, to, to be honest. And it just got to be a lot. Thank you for the hearts. Look, I managed to do one in less than an hour because I prepped. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you'd have, we'd be here till midnight if you had had to sit with me through every step that I was doing. I, I'm very happy with this, and we will finish out the back for whoever bids on this on Sunday. And um, I, oh, I do love this piece, though. This this frame really came out way prettier than I thought it would be. And that totally dazzled cross just, just made it. To remind you, oh, Dolly, that's so sweet. And I made it on our anniversary. That's true. It's just, you get to a point, though, when you craft or create at least three days a week live, plus you're working all those days in between, stuff, you, you, you can't keep it all. You cannot keep it all. I will say this. Um, I even have some inventory from my booth that I might add to our auction. You won't be able to afford that one, Barb. We're trying to keep the starting bids. He does all my shipping, so he knows shipping costs. So he gives me the approximate shipping cost on each piece that I, I take in there to... Um, to do in the auction and that way then I can just figure up above that what I have in the way of um, supplies in it and that will be the starting bid. I'm not going to include my, um, my time in it. It'll just be what I call the ingredients so that it starts as low as possible because we like to do that with our shop stuff too. You see eyes on the lace? I do too now. I do too now. <laughs> oh, Tony, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. Maybe it may, well, is she out of town this weekend? I don't think so. I know they're busy one day this weekend, but I can't remember if it's Saturday or Sunday. So I will ask her. Looks like a lace owl. It does have that. Um, the May class, Jody. And I, we haven't painted it yet, but the class is available. It's in the shop. Um, it, I have the group all set up. And I am even thinking about us painting this before Thursday's live. If I can get it all together, I'll announce it. And uh, But it'll always be available. And thank you, Cindy. There's the link to it. You saw a horse. Could bring Ellie, too. Let's have a party. So yeah, this is our rooster. This is our May class. He makes me very happy, and I hope he'll make y'all happy too. We have quite a few members already. I appreciate y'all signing up. Any other questions before I go? Since I've got six minutes till it's been an hour. Put your wedding date on it and keep it. Oh, y'all are tempting me. Betty, you finished your... Oh, you're talking to Jody, but I read it. You finished your daisy. I've got to go look that up. Oh, that's special that you saw an angel, Tammy. Oh, wow. I like that. Oh. Well, this is just making me... This was a fun time. This was a fun anniversary creation um, with y'all. Barb, you're on your fourth neurographic art piece. You have taken off. 
I definitely will, Betty. I will sign every single one of them. We're not, Rita. We're going to, um, we're staying home for our anniversary and just hanging out together. We st we're, we're so old and boring. <laughs> we did start because um, Jody and Julie told us that's moidal. Um, absolutely, Tony. I'm going to sign all of them for y'all. And you'll probably get Mr. T's signature on it, too, on the note inside, on the piece, the invoice inside. But um, they told us about the new show about Julia Child. And uh, one, of, one of my favorite movies is Julie Julia. I love that. Um, and Moidle and I went to see that at the theater together. And um, so... They told us about this new show. I think it's on HBO Max. And, uh, oh, oh, Michelle. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Michelle's in Hawaii. I love Hawaii. Y'all have the greatest time. But, um, so we started watching that last night. And it's really good. It, it's really good. So, this is one of your favorite pieces, Sharon. Oh, thank you. This is this one's gonna go down as a, a special one to me. It really is. This this came out far better than I anticipated, and I I love to look at the frames in the thrift stores. So y'all check out the frames in the thrift stores because a lot of times I can get them for ninety nine cents. This one was a yard sale, two dollars. I'm great with it, um, and it was dark, and you can look at the before and after. And I may, I may post them side by side for anybody that missed that. But, um, I was talking. Oh, get, you know, pick up frames because I may do this on a couple of other frames with my pieces of lace and bits of, um, totally dazzled or, um, you know, there may be another piece that, I do that this butterfly will just look fantastic on. It may be in the middle of one of my pieces. <laughs> be or not. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. So, at 5.45 today, Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic will be live. I've heard about, now I've not seen, but I've heard about what she's doing. And I don't think y'all want to miss it. It's going to be really fresh and fun like most of her stuff is. And um, so I hope y'all will join me watching her tonight at 545. So that's only, yeah, that's only 45 minutes away. It gives y'all time to eat a bite or, you know, do something you need to do real quick. Go water your plants and then you'll be back in in time to watch her. And um, thank y'all for joining me today with this. Uh, I just, I had a great time. Oh, Gail, you're so sweet. Yes, we know it's going to be lemons. Who likes lemons? Yeah, please bring your friends. Please let your friends know about Ellie's Attic. Um, we got to get our own up there. And um, y'all, I'm going to tell you one more thing. So if you've hung out with me till now, because a lot of people dropped off and that's okay. But Trish from Love and Life Jewelry is back. And she is making the most gorgeous pieces. And uh, so I snuck over to her shop this morning. She's doing a big um, shop reveal this Friday at Trish Thomas Love and Life. <clears throat> and um, I went to her store, her online shop this morning to just take a peek and sneak around. I was being nosy. I... I want so many of those pieces. They just screamed at me. So do yourself a favor. If you want to sneak over there and get a sneak peek, she'll be adding new pieces every day. And then Friday is the big reveal. And she is, her jewelry is my favorite. And you're going to get a one of a kind or very unique handmade piece. Yeah, she's feeling better. She got up at six o'clock this morning, took a walk. She's on fire and making the most gorgeous pieces. Bracelets, necklaces, earrings. I'm making a wish list. So y'all don't go buying it out from under me. <laughs> I 
E-O. Y'all are wonderful. I'm getting off of here, so y'all can do what you need to do before Ellie goes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's synonymous. Oh, look, and um, LaBriska's live now, too. All right, y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me on our anniversary. I loved every minute of it. And uh, I will see you Thursday at 4. I'll be back for another craft that I don't even know what I'm doing yet. So, I love y'all. Have a great evening.